Hi everyone, welcome to 20 Days, 20 Ways. Today I'll be talking about Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, because he's someone who I see has been through hardship and adversity, but has still pushed through, which is exactly the message that we're trying to send through 20 Days, 20 Ways. So Prophet Muhammad is somebody that everybody knows of as a great leader. Uh, he has billions of people who follow him and love him. But when you look at his life, you can see the hardship. So very quickly, I just want to go through some of the points. So firstly, his father passed away before he was born. He then lived with his mother, who passed away when he was six years old. He then went to live with his grandfather, who passed away when he was nine. He then went to live with his uncle, who had many children. Um, and so he had to work to support himself. He never learned to read or write because he started working from a very young age and fully supported himself financially from the age of 12. At the age of 25, he got married, and over the next 25 years, had seven children, all of whom, except for one, passed away during his lifetime. Um, when he became a prophet, his own people rejected him, some even from his own family. They called him a liar. They persecuted and tortured him and his followers. Uh, there were many assassination attempts on his life. Then there were three years where, they, where him and his followers were sanctioned, leading to starvation, and this caused the death of his beloved wife, Khadija, and as well as his uncle, who was one of his biggest supporters. Um, he was then forced to leave Mecca, where he was born, and take his uh, followers and move to another city called Medina. So essentially, they were all refugees. Um, and then they were still constantly attacked and they were forced to fight in all of these wars, which again caused the death of many of his followers. So you can see there that he went through a lot of very difficult things in his life. And yet um, he was he's known to always be smiling, he gave time to everybody. He needed him, he never lost hope, he never gave up. He led by example, was always involved in what his people were doing and he helped his people until the last minute of his life. And he left behind a great legacy and a civilization. And as you can see there, he's quoted as saying, happy is the man who avoids hardship, but how fine is the man who is afflicted with hardship and shows endurance. We all know him as a prophet. We think, yeah, he's a prophet, he can do that. But he was a human being just like you and me. And if he can, then so can you. Thank you.